Welcome back to the channel guys. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and we're going to get right into it. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the X input mode on your X arcade tank stick. It's a very popular mode and it's had some trouble. So let's find out how to get it working. Like and subscribe and hit the bell so you know when we go live. So what we're going to do is go ahead and launch Street Fighter 2. Now, one of the problems with the X input, as you guys know, if you have the X arcade tank stick and you use X input, let's say, I don't know, you like to use X input for other games and you don't want to keep switching it back and forth. They finally have a solution for us, which is really cool. I'm so glad they did this. So the X input right now on a lot of the cores, Super Nintendo and CPS1 and all the ones that I tested, do not split the two joysticks as player one and player two. Instead, they join it as player one. So your player one joystick and your player two joystick moves for you, as it does here in this video, which can be kind of annoying because Street Fighter 2 is so much fun when you play it with two people. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to fix this uh, for the X input mode on your X Arcade tank stick so that you can get player one and player two working the way it should, all right? All right, guys, so the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and launch WinSCP or FileZilla or whatever the heck it is you use to get into the system. <laughs> I got a whole bunch set up here, my Mr., my Pi, even Tony's Barcade. <laughs> but, um, so for Mr., you just put in SFTP as a protocol, get the host name, you can get that from Mr. when you boot it up, and then the username will be root, port number 22, and you can save that. Just go ahead and hit login. Password, of course, is 1, unless you change it, and then hit OK. So on the right side, you see it'll default you to media fat. And uh, on the left side, it doesn't really matter. You just need somewhere to put the file. Okay, we're going to edit the mister.ini. doesn't really matter. So first, let's make a backup. Always recommend making a backup. So you can do a right-click, copy, and then you're going to do a right-click, paste. Okay, and then just rename it to something like, I don't know, underscore ini underscore backup. Who cares? Go ahead and click OK. It's going to ask you a pretty lengthy question here, uh, basically saying, it wants to create another session. Doesn't really matter. Go ahead and say OK. It'll create the backup. Boom. There you go. Easy. Now we can edit this file and not worry about breaking stuff. So bring it over to your desktop. And what you want to do is just edit this file, you know, in Notepad, Notepad++, doesn't matter, Sublime, whatever your fancy is, OK? So we're going to open it up. I got a whole bunch of other files here I was working on. So scroll down to the bottom. And what we find here is a lot of settings for the mister. In the X Arcade, when you go to X input, you have to tell it to not merge this input, okay? So you're gonna say no underscore merge VID and no underscore merge PID. Now these two numbers are what you get when you configure the X Arcade when it's in the X input mode and you move the joystick left or right. It'll automatically tell you that on that screen. So that's where you get that from. So you put that there, save it, and then you just drag it right back over to the other side. Once it's here, uh, all you gotta do is reboot the mister and unplug and plug your X Arcade uh, tank stick back in. That's it, okay? And then remap it. Let's go do that now. Now once you get that edited and saved, what you wanna do is Go ahead and reboot your mister, and then you're going to unplug and plug in the X Arcade tank stick to the mister. That way it can actually detect it as a new joystick, okay? Then go back and map the joystick buttons, and as soon as you hit the D-pad to the right uh, and begin that little process that we all love, you know, uh, you'll start to see it work. Now, the cool part is, once you get this done and you boot up, let's say, Street Fighter 2 on CPS 1, what you'll see in the top right hand corner, as soon as you tap the left joystick, you'll see a map, player one. Tap player two, same thing, and that's really cool. Once you see map of player two, you know it's no longer merging those joysticks under one interface. So, that's it guys. I mean, 
it's really simple but it is kind of tedious uh, but as soon as you do it you, you understand it if i went over anything that doesn't make sense or you have any questions please let us know in the comments and i will do my best to get back to you you know i love the mister and i love the tank stick and i want to make sure you guys know how to use it so hit us up uh you know if there's any questions so until next time guys i appreciate you watching see ya